In this period of downtime, when we are unable to get onto the football field to train or play, following on here is some backyard football games that you can play by yourself or at home with a couple of friends. Before using anything around the house, check with mum and dad to make sure it's okay to do that. Let's get into it. So the objective of Kirby is with your ball to hit the kerb and get your ball back. Try and get your ball back without it bouncing on, on the ground. Okay, this is that. Kirby's actually a really good one because it can actually be good to learn how to throw the ball in. Or if you're a goalkeeper, your accuracy as well. So it can be a, for an outfield player is throwing the ball in, throwing the ball in like that. And for a goalkeeper, trying to hit the kerb like that, okay? Scoring method, okay? If I, do, if I throw the ball over my head and hit the kerb, my objective is to try and catch that ball on the fly on the way back. Got it, got it on the fly, brilliant. That's my goalkeeping catch. Now, if you've got an opponent, my objective is, is to hit this, and if I don't hit the kerb, you can catch the ball and throw the ball at me and you get all my points. So I'm gonna get back as quick as I can. Woo, jeez. Right. Quick as I can. So, rules again, rules again. The objective is, is from one end to the other, try and hit the kerb and catch the ball on the fly. I can throw the ball this way or that way. Catch the ball like that. Objective now is if I miss, if I miss, the opponent now can catch the ball and try and hit me and get my points. So this one's a really simple one. Wall ball, if you've got a wall at home, home, just bouncing the ball against the wall. Great thing to use your left foot and your right foot. Try and alternate feet if possible. I know mum and dad will get really annoyed when they hear that ball, the ball hitting against the wall, but it's all part of the fun. Woo! So you got right foot, you got left foot, you can bounce the ball, hit your knee, bounce the ball, hit the top of your foot. Relax, take a touch. It's good for your first touch, good for your passing. If you've got a friend at home and you want to play one touch wall ball, I'll show you how it works. Ooh. It's going to get there. That's one nothing, Juddy. Because we're going to have a little competition. Jeez. Great. Jeez, hit it harder. Two nothing, Juddy. I might be in trouble here. As we're hitting the ball against the wall, you can use the top of your foot, inside your foot, alternate foot. You can even use your knee to bounce the ball against the wall. You can even, if you get really snazzy about it, you can header the ball against the wall. You can toe poke it. Oh, you skimmed it. Take that for your troubles. There you go. And the winner is Martin D. That was five, five. I right. Wall ball with a little bit of difference. Please excuse the chalk that we've marked on the wall. Uh, we made a circle a goal and a circle. And the idea is, as often as you can, can you try and pass the ball into a different, not necessarily shape, but you've got two circles. Pass into the circle, maybe into the square next time. Take a touch, relax, pass into the circle. And here, similar to what we did before, but now you've got a shape. So you might want to lift the ball up a little bit, lift it up a little bit, because the circle you notice is off the ground. So, really good for your first touch and really good for your accuracy as well. Get another touch, through the circle, through the goal, relax. Maybe flick it up a little bit. Some football you can play at home. What if we don't have a wall at home? Can we get two of the chairs from the barbecue or from the kitchen setting? And can we sit them like this? And can we bounce them like this? So replicating bouncing off a wall. So using the inside of your foot, using both feet, 
You can use the inside, you can use the top of your foot. Whoa, jeez. Can use the top of my foot. Oh, I can do ricochet there as well. Left foot, right foot. Working on your first touch here. And working on striking the ball, just close passing at the same time. You have a little competition with yourself if you're home on your own. See how many passes you can get in 30 seconds. Or if we've got Juddy here, we can actually have a competition. See who hits the chair first. You get at the right chair or the left chair. No particular order. Fair bit of movement here. Oh, I like it. Oh, he's done the ricochet. One nothing, Martin. Love it. One touch. Whoa, two nothing, Martin. Oh, I like that. I'm not so sure mum and dad will like you using their chairs, but that's okay. It's backyard football. Two one. And the winner is Martin D.